Okay, man, I just got done doing three sets of push-ups, man. I did 45 on the first set. Move this out of the way. And then I did 40 more on the second set. No, 40 in the first set. And 40 on the second set after I rested about five minutes. Then I rested about four more minutes. I did 35 more. That's 40 plus 40 plus 35. That's 115 total. It's more push-ups than I've done ever, you know, in sets since I've been out of the Marines, man. Look at it. Oh, Sergio Oliva, my favorite bodybuilder. He pulls like, oh, yeah, look at him, I'm huge. I'm huge. Oh, yeah, look at that. Triceps back. Little lats right there, man. Little lats right there, man. Triceps. Smoking Joe Frazier, left hook. <coughs> now Vinny Paz, Pazmanian Devil. Vinny Pazienza, former middleweight champion who decked Duran and beat him twice. About Ron Lyle, my favorite fighter, decked Foreman twice in one round. Foreman got up and knocked him down uh, out the next round. Lyle put up a great fight, man. <sighs> Good overhand right and left hook. Good left hook and overhand right. Are you jealous of my body? I, the rock monster, am coming to get you. My pecs there, man. Like my buddy said in the Marines, in boot camp, San Diego, he says, Nelson, this is you. He sticks his chest out trying to imitate me. Nelson, this is you. Because, you know, I stood with my chest out, position of tension. If you want to learn breathing, because I had to do all those push-ups. And now I'm shadow boxing. It really is a win doing those push-ups, man. In about, I'd say about 14 minutes, I did a total of 115 push-ups. It's more than I've done in the last... Ever since I've been out of the core. We're talking 1980 when I got out of the core. Man. But man, I'm in better shape now, I think. Man, check it out. I'm bigger, I'm stronger than I was then. I think I had better win then, but you know, hey, you know, I was running a lot more then, but shit. Shoot, I mean, shoot. I meant to say shoot. Look at that. My dad says, are those, are those uh, muscles or are those hams? Triceps. Triceps can up with two thirds of your arm. Biceps are like one third. That's so why you want to work on the triceps too. It's like pushing box, like push ups and military press, tricep press down, bar I don't I don't do all those in one day. I do like one exercise, do three sets, like push ups today. Tomorrow I do the pulling, I do the lats. Rows, work on the lats. You know, these. Uh, those things, lats. Oh, look at the lats right there, man. Okay. Smoking Joe Frazier, left hook. Yeah, okay. Okay, enough of my hat, though. I'll put my shirt back on. Like Ron Ron Wadham says, the monster bitch. Come on, Dave, put your shirt back on. Come on. And I'm trying to get ready for the. 2013, because people talking about the end of the world, John. Hey, I'm toughening up for 2013. This is going to be a good year. You know, today, we got to bash the monster bash 2013. Proof that the world can't end. Uh, here's my monster. In celebration, here's my monster bash 2000 shirt. Which was proof that the world couldn't end in Y2K, because we had to bash the monster bash 20, 2000 then. When people like, oh, it's going to be the millennium, it's the end of the world. It's not the millennium that the Bible talks about. The Bible doesn't give a year. It's talking about a 1,000 year reign of Christ. It didn't say it's the year 2000. It doesn't say a year. God doesn't get, you know, 
God doesn't tell you that that, that, that date when he's going to come again. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. He needs the earth to fulfill his prophecy. He's going to bring heaven down to earth one day. He's going to bring heaven down to earth. Why is he going to destroy the earth? Come on. Use your noggin. Use your gray matter, your brains. Come on. God gave you a brain. Use it. A little common sense. You don't have to buy all the stuff at your zombie uh, apocalypse store. I want to visit that place. Sounds like a cool place. Get some cool movie props for my next uh, zombie or monster movie. That thing sounds like a cool place. But, you know, it, that's, it's a business. They do, they'll still be in business. The people will still be working there after 2013, after two, two days. Well, one day now. It's Thursday now. It's about 1.30 a.m. Thursday morning, the 20th. So, according to that, oh, the world's going to end tomorrow. It, it ain't. The zombie apocalypse store will still be in business. So people will still be there saying, well, I guess it didn't happen. But we're ready for next time whenever those zombies invade the earth. You know, it's good for a movie, but that ain't going to happen. There ain't going to be zombies raising from the dead, walking around zombies. When the Bible talks about the dead being raised, it's talking about actual people being raised. They're not going to be mindless zombies. <laughs> Come on. That's good in movies, but... That's not what the Bible means when it says the dead will be raised. They're going to be raised. They're going to be of a sound mind. They're not going to be eating guts and blood. And Come on. God didn't make us to do that. He doesn't resurrect us so we can do stuff like that. Amen, brother. Well, I'll see you. Can I have my glass of milk? And here's my Monster Bash. We got to bash Monster Bash 2013, so I'll see you this summer. I'm going to be the most notorious guest of honor as usual. Take off my shirt and flex my muscles again. I'm be bigger and stronger than I am now. Now I'm like 175. I'm bulking up. I'm putting on muscle, man. I'm working out hard and I'm eating good. I'm eating my meat, my my carbohydrates, rice or baked potato or sweet potato, and I'm getting my veggies, beans or mixed veggies, yeah. And I drink a few glasses of milk every day. And I drink a hot cup of joe with my dinner, which is about, well, I'm going to have a nice dinner in about a half hour. Feed my muscles. Are you jealous of my body? I know you are. Oh, look at that bicep. Okay, I'll see you.